Aquarius KIA, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different, something I haven't done before. I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me during a week in my hair. Like, cause the girls wanna know. And you know, I'm here to provide the girls with what they want, always. So I'm gonna take you guys from the first day, which is wash day, all up into day six, which is the day before I wash my hair. I'm gonna take you guys through the transformation that my hair takes from definition to volume to moisture levels. I'm gonna be showing you guys my nighttime routines because they vary. I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I actually do restyle my hair and just how I, you know, my morning routine with my hair. I'm gonna cover all that in this video so you guys definitely wanna stay tuned and pressed and perched, okay? So today's video is in collaboration with Pantene. If you guys been following along on Instagram, you know that I've been using the Gold Series from Pantene for a couple of months now. You know, they done flew your girl out to Cincinnati to check out the PNG labs where all the products are formulated. And girl, I was just blown away with the amount of research and science and technology that was behind this line. It just makes you feel good because oftentimes we're afterthought. We're never at the forefront. Like our hair is just like, it's whatever. If it works for this hair, if straight hair, it might work for them, but we don't really care. But to actually see the amount of effort that was put into formulating this line. And what makes it even better, a little even sweeter, is that there were black scientists and PhDs that were behind the formulation. So it's really for us, by us, and I really respect that. So this video was actually inspired by the Ask Me Anything that I did on Instagram where I pretty much just did a Q&A and just answered any questions that you guys had concerning the Gold Series. And um, based on that, I came up with the top three questions that I'm pretty much going to be answering in this video. Um, the first one obviously was around moisture and moisture retention, which is super important. That should be number one on every naturals list. Um, the second one was about detangling and the amount of slip that the products had. And lastly, it was just overall just how I use the products, how they worked on my hair, the methods I use, which I'm obviously going to be showing you guys in this video. So yeah, I've rambled enough. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So really quickly, one more thing. I want you guys to guess what day hair this is. So one through six and comment down below. Okay. Happy wash day guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what it's like for me and my hair during a typical week. And you know, to be honest, it's not a big thing. Um, for me, it was all about just working on my efficiency and just really focusing on what means the most to me, which is moisture. I feel like moisture is the end all be all for all problems, natural hair. So I really just try to focus on moisture and I know I had a good week when um, it's less work I have to do the following wash day as far as you know detangling because you know moisture is key for smooth detangling. So if you focus on moisture, wash day and all the other days after wash day it would just be a lot easier for you the products that i'm going to be using today is from pantene their gold series which i've been using for about two months now and girl she's everything she smells amazing the slip everything from the conditioners down to the shampoos to the leave-ins to the stylers half slip is unbelievable so anyway guys let's hop into this video and let's get it popping all right all right, so first up we have detangling. I'm gonna be using the Moisture Boost Conditioner from the Gold Series to finger detangle my hair. I'm definitely a fan of starting my wash day with detangling because one, it gets it out the way, <laughs> and two, it really preps my hair for shampooing. This conditioner is super creamy, it has a great slip. It really softens and strengthens my hair prior to shampooing. So since I've been using the Gold Series from Pantene, like honestly, honestly, wash day is a breeze. Detangling, like, is not an issue, okay? Um, when you really start to focus on moisture and that's a top priority for you, your hair responds well. And it's really all about just training your hair. You treat her right, she'll treat you right back. And uh, my number one tip is probably just to get back to basics. Like keep your routine really simple. Um, master that and then you can gradually start adding new products or new methods but really keep it simple because you know when you try to do the most you end up with the least so i just finished detangling my hair it took me about seven eight minutes like that might be a record like what's good <laughs> So 
Now let's get into this shampoo. I'm using the Moisture Boost Shampoo from the Gold Series. Now here's something that I'm probably sure you didn't know. Your shampoo should have slip. Yes, you should be able to run your fingers through your hair while you're shampooing. If not, guess what? You probably need to get a better shampoo. <laughs> this one does contain sulfate, but they do have another one that doesn't have it. I personally don't have any issues with sulfate. Like she's here to do her job and who am I to stand in her way? You know, it's interesting when um, we were talking to the scientists behind the line and we were just, you know, voicing our concerns about sulfates and mineral oil. And, you know, there's just so much information, well, misinformation out there as far as sulfate and mineral oil is concerned. But, you know, they're there for a reason. Scientifically, they work and they, you know, are there to help the other products, you know, work and absorb and just do its thing scientifically, which, you know, I'm not the expert, so I can't really get into that. But she's there for a reason. So let her do her job. All right. <laughs> So the Moisture Boost shampoo is going to gently cleanse your hair. It's going to soften. It's going to make it stronger and more manageable. Um, of course, it has slip. It smells amazing. And I always, absolutely always um, lather my hair at least twice, at the very least twice. If I had a rough week or maybe I went two weeks, I might, you know, shampoo my hair three times. But um, I think it's important for us to know what our hair feels like when it's clean. And I suggest lathering your hair three times so you can see how it feels when it's clean so then you know moving forward now it's time to deep condition i'm using the repairing mask which is going to provide deep moisturization it's going to replenish and it's also going to help restore hair health now here's another tip and it's crucial you know make sure you guys are deep conditioning your hair every single time you wash your hair because it's really going to provide that moisture that you need to last until the next time you wash your hair like your stylers are cool but they don't really provide the adequate amount of moisture that you need like you're going to get from a deep conditioner so deep condition for your life okay um super crucial as far as moisture is concerned this one smells amazing of course um as do everything in this line it has a great slip it's not too thick um which means you it can you can use less so it's going to spread through your hair a lot easier as as opposed to a thicker um conditioner which you know is a little harder to maneuver throughout your hair as with applying any deep conditioner any conditioner you want to make sure that you're finger combing or detang doing some type of detangling while it's in your hair because you want to make sure every hair strand is coated So I really like this conditioner because on those days where you just don't have the, the capacity to deep condition your hair for 30 plus minutes, you really only have to leave this on for five to seven minutes. You can leave it on longer if you want to, or if you're extra like me, I'm going to leave it on for about 30 minutes and then I'm going to rinse. All right, so once I rinse my deep conditioner out, I put my hair in a t-shirt and let it dry for about 30 minutes. This is really, really essential um, because one, it ensures that my hair is gonna dry overnight, okay? And then number two is I prefer to do my hair on like damp hair versus soaking wet hair. I just find that when I do my hair on soaking wet hair, I just, I'm dealing with a lot of shrinkage. Like it's super defined, but the shrinkage. When I do my hair on night like, damp hair, I have more volume. I still have a little definition, but if my hair is just bigger on day one than if I did it on soap my hair. It's just preference, and I really don't like going to bed with wet hair. Right, first up, I'm going to take the leave-on detangling milk. So the um, leave-on detangling milk is really lightweight, and it's really going to prep and strengthen your hair for styling. Um, it has great slip and along with deep conditioning every time you wash your hair you also want to make sure that you're using a leave on and leave in every time you wash your hair as well because stylers don't really provide that moisture your leave in is going to provide that moisture and it's going to prep your hair for the stylers once that's done we're going to move on to styler i'm using the curl defining pudding so the curl defining pudding is going to provide a lightweight hold It's going to define your curls and it's also going to reduce frizz now this is more so like a gel cream based product like it's not straight gel and it's not straight cream it's like a hybrid which i love because that means it's 
lightweight, which is going to give me definition, but not too much. And I'm going to get that volume that I love. Um, once again, it smells great and a little really goes a long way. So you guys already know the deal, all right? I'm gonna do my signature fro, you know, why fix what ain't broke, she's here to stay. And yeah, nothing has really changed. All right, so that's it. It took me about 25 minutes to complete. I have eight twists in the back and six twists in the front. I don't put my scarf on immediately after I'm done doing my hair because one, I find that the moisture in my hair ends up on my scarf and not in my hair. So I really want the products to like really set in my hair before I tie it down with the scarf. And also I want my hair to dry a bit before I put the scarf on as well. So I wait till like the very last second. Like my head is about to hit the pillow before I put my scarf on. Yeah, I'll be back in the morning for the takedown. All right. Day one, time for the takedown. Look at that definition. Look at that shine. Didn't add no oils or nothing. She's out here shining, okay? <laughs> so that's one thing that I look for is, you know, definition, of course. Also shine and sheen. Yeah. Um, so to aid in the takedown process, I'm going to be using the Intense Hydrating Oil. Just a tiny bit of that. So the intense hydrating oil is more so of a thicker oil, but it's not thick to the point where it's weighing your hair down. It's really, um, it really absorbs into your hair and helps to heal fragile strands. And then it also just gives you that shine. Like sometimes you just want to be out here shining, 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 shining. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here is day two here. She's looking real good day two come through. All I pretty much did was take her out of the pineapple, sprayed some rose water. Then I also put a tiny bit of the Finish and Shine Cream from the Gold Series. It's a very, like very, very lightweight, creamy product, smells amazing. Um, when you emulsify it in your hand, it's pretty much clear. And so it's not watery or anything, but it's just very, very lightweight. Um, and then I just put a tiny bit of the hydrating oil as well from the Gold Series and picked, fluffed, and pretty much good to go. Um, I typically have to restyle my hair on day two, but she's not looking like that's the case today. I probably can go, if not one more day, two more days. So fingers crossed for that. Um, I'm going to try something different tonight as far as how I um, restyle my hair. Well, not restyle my hair, how I sleep at night as far as pineappling because after day one, if I try to pineapple on day two, I get like a mullet in the back. So I'm going to try a different method tonight. But yeah, I'll be back for my nighttime routine.
it's day three and we out here, okay? Um, as I mentioned, I typically have to restyle my hair on day two, but look, day three, maximum volume. I'll probably restyle my hair today, tonight, and then that'll last me until the next time I have to wash my hair. So only restyling one time was good. Well, fingers crossed. So hopefully I've lasted three days. Hopefully I'll last another three days and then it's wash day. So last night, instead of just doing a traditional pineapple, um, since I find that after day one, when I do a pineapple, it really stretches out the back of my hair. I lose definition back here and I get like that mullet and I just be over it. So lately I've just been like putting the back of my hair in like a low puff and then just leaving the top of my hair out and just tying a pineapple like that. I find that it keeps my hair from stretching out in the back. I still have some definition because I don't sleep on my back. I pretty much sleep on my side, so I'm good to go. So if you guys are struggling with a traditional pineapple, stretching your hair out too much, um, try like my modified version. Let me know how it goes for you. And um, I pretty much just took that down today and just spritzed my hair with some rose water, then added uh, the finish and shine cream and then followed up with the Intent Hydrating Oil. And she's looking good. Fro is on 100. <laughs> and I'll be back tonight to show you guys how I restyle my hair. So until then. So instead of using the leave on detangling milk, I'm gonna be using the hydrating buttercream, which is probably my favorite product from the line, just because it's a nice creamy product. It's so moisturizing. It doesn't really provide any hold, but it has moisture. So I'm gonna use that first, and then I'm gonna follow up with the curl defining pudding and just do my typical signature fro. All right, so I know you guys probably wanna know what's the difference between the Finish and Shine Cream and the Hydrating Butter Cream. Well, first up, the Finish and Shine Cream is a really, really lightweight product and it's used best to kind of like revitalize your style to add shine. It's not really a styler, so I wouldn't use it to restyle my hair because it's just way too lightweight, um, but it's perfect for refreshing your hair the next day. On the other hand, the Hydrating Butter Cream is a thicker product, is a cream, um, and you can use it to style your hair or to refresh your hair. And the Hydrating Butter Cream is probably my favorite product in the line just because it's so moisturizing, but it's not thick like most creams.
so we made it to day number six which means tomorrow is sunday wash day all over again and as i mentioned moisture is the number one goal for me and i really feel like i tackled that throughout this week so wash day tomorrow is going to be a breezy tangling is going to be a non-factor so typically on day number six i really like to spice it up and just play around with clips and um bobby pins and pineapples and scarves just to kind of extend my style so I don't have to redo my hair all over again so I just grab a bit of the edge tamer from the gold series from Pantene just to sweep up the side of my hair add some clips and I'm good to go so if I do decide to extend the style for two more days max I'm good to go the gold series from Pantene can be purchased at CVS. I will be sure to leave links in the description box below. So yeah guys, um, check out the gold series from Pantene. I'll be sure to link all the products down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So until next time, peace and openness.